All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and here we have the newest summonable LR, which very well may be uh, one of the best units in the game here. We have the summonable LR, Kale, and Khalifa. They are a beast. Now, what's really interesting about this is the TUR actually has a different name. You know, it looks like Khalifa is a Super Saiyan 1 there. And I believe Kale is as well. So, you know, <laughs> the fact that we could rock both of them uh, on the team next to each other, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what kind of numbers uh, that our girls, Kale and Khalifa, will be able to put up uh, here. We are on the, you know, Universe 6 team, which is pretty much, you know, going to be uh, sort of, wow. Okay, so we're jump. <laughs> Wait a minute. We go for 4.1 already, right out the gate, and that's without... Okay, number one, this attack animation is very long. <laughs> is this on one times? Did I, wait, did I look away? Okay, that has to be one times speed. <laughs> because that was a long animation, <laughs> if not... Whoa, wait a minute, there's a lot to unpack there. So, right away, they did 4.1 million, which, again, it, it's just a very, very good number. Uh... So, they get a bigger attack buff based upon, you know, how many Universe 6 joined forces uh, and Pure Saiyan's category allies are on the team, right? So, uh, obviously here, we have a full, you know, you, okay, it is on one times. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, look how slow. <laughs> it looked like it was in slow motion right there. <laughs> because I looked away for a second. I was like, wait a minute. This Kale and Kaliva super attack is going on pretty long. <laughs> All right, so again, Kale and Khalifa, like, there's just, like, these passives for some of these units now are, like, paragraphs long. Oh, so I have to, it, you can only make it two times in the first attack? Come on, Dokkan. All right, so, okay, I'm a little blown back, by the way, uh, from how much freaking damage they did, like, on their first attack, 4.1 million is a really, really large number. Now, Sure enough, you know, linked up with their TUR, you know, they were able to activate. Let's see, they have what two attack links? Super Saiyan and Fierce Battles. So that's the other thing. It's not like, not like we're talking about a million different attack links here or anything. It, it, it's just the two. So it's not. Oh, I missed my chance. There we go. Two times. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, the curse of one times. Oh no, that gives me shudders there. But like, dude, like, so they one shot at that Goku, and then here's the thing. Uh, going up against a pure Saiyan category enemy, which we were, that Super Saiyan 4 Goku was, they were going to do a guaranteed second super, plus they also have another additional attack they're going to do. Like, they're just a ridiculous unit. Um, okay, so here we have Champa on rotation. Uh, let me actually do this. Let's get the TUR going first. Uh, you know, I don't think they're going to be able to finish off Gogeta, plus we'll get a good look at how the TUR is going to look. Uh, there we go. So this... This is probably going to be their best rotation right here. Uh, the TUR, the LR plus Champa. Now, if anyone is going to ask so truth about going for uh, Rainbow TUR as well. Wow, they're 1.66 at the TUR. That's really good. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm going to chase, uh, you know, wow, okay, the additionals are going like crazy. Now, they get stronger as they, get, they do more attacks. 4.72. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> they seem quite impressive. So uh, every time they perform uh, an attack, they get, what, one key and plus 6% chance to attack evade. Like, so basically, not only are they, you know, coming right out of the gate doing 4 million plus, but, you know, as the fight goes on, they're going to be able to dodge more and more and more, even the TUR as well. That's, man, I... Oh, I am very tempted to, like, be like, well, you know what? It's time to go in my bag yet again, and we're going to need to go ahead and rainbow the TR as well. I'm going to just say tentatively, I'm not going to do that this time. I really wish I had done that instead with this unit rather than baby, but I think, uh, you know, doing it the one time, uh, rainbowing the LR and the TR on their initial banner, just that one time, was enough for me. I don't think I'm going to jump back into that well again. But here is the thing, right? Uh, depending on how lucky or unlucky I get, 
I may go for one copy of the TUR and then stop there. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, right? Uh, we still don't know what their banner, the banner they're going to be on is like. You know, there's a lot of things we still don't really completely know yet, uh, uh, you know, about this unit. Like, I'll, I'll actually check real quick if... Okay, yeah, they are up on DBZ Space. Looks like they come out... Oh, they come out tonight? Is that... <laughs> they come out in a couple hours. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, looks like... Looks like Kale and Khalifa drop tonight. Uh, that is very, very interesting. Okay, okay, okay. And, uh, their SSR, by the way, is, uh, Kale and Khalifa base form. The TUR is Super Saiyan Kale and Khalifa. And then the LR is Super Saiyan 2 Kale and Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa. So, I mean, they really want us to, to really go in here. This is very, very interesting. Uh, Vanna drops tonight. Then, of course, we do have the other really good, uh, base form Khalifa and Kale cards. The only, uh, the only issue, oh yeah, now that I look at it, this is a bit of a problem, is that, I, I mean, it's good in terms of, like, thinking of it from a whale perspective, but Kale and Khalifa, their SSR is just a base form Kale and Khalifa card. So what that means is you have to use 19 Elder Kai's, basically, to get this unit to SA20. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal, because look at, look at the damn, dude, look at the damage they're putting out! And, like... As you put additionals into them, they could get up to a 66% chance to dodge. Yo. All right. I'm going to tell y'all right now. The memes. This video title. I might just call it the best unit in the game. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> They're in the discussion. For me. For, listen. For me? Oh, yeah. 66% chance to dodge while busting out a 4 million attack stat. What do y'all think I'm going to say? <laughs> y'all already know. How I feel about dodging units. And these are some dodging units. Dokkan, you tricky. They know exactly what they're doing. They want to get your boy to just drop a whole truckload of stones. Uh, I presume this unit is going to be a featured LR, by the way. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think... Seems like they've moved away from doing unfeatured uh, LRs as units. Uh, so I don't think we have to, you know, it's not gonna be like a double rates banner with them unfeatured or anything like that. Honestly, they're good enough. Like, legitimately, from what I'm seeing, like, you know, the n damage numbers they're able to put up, considering that they stack their defense when they super attack, and they have this ridiculous chance to dodge every single time they attack, plus they also build up key every time they attack. Like, I mean, this is legitimately a unit that does not have weaknesses or faults in any way. I mean, because... Okay, the one part of their passive is, you know, if you're fighting either a Universal Survival Arc enemy or a pure Saiyan enemy, they do a guaranteed super attack. But, like, they still already do an additional attack just uh, from their passive, right? It's not a guaranteed super attack like it is if, you know, you're going up against a uh, Universal Survival Arc or pure Saiyan opponent. But still, like, uh, and the TUR just links up so well. So 3.97... Uh, I mean, y'all can see that this is uh, for, uh, mm, I would say that they're at the start, they're better than LR Vegito and Gogeta. I would easily say that. No question about it. The only thing is, are they better than LR Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta? I would probably say no, uh, just because... I need more time to use this unit than just, you know, one day, basically. Uh, because here's the thing, like, like the active skills are just, like, so busted. So stupid busted. They do so much damage. Uh, it's a free attack before the turn starts. Like, I, I, I feel like active skills are incredibly underrated as of right now because they're not out on global yet, right? If active skills were on global, I think a lot more people would talk about how they're, you know, just such a busted mechanic. Uh, but, you know, right now we don't actually have them in the game for Global and Neil. Uh, that's kind of why I, I think I would probably say the Super Saiyan 4s are better than Kale and Khalifa. But then, like, you know, Goku and Frieza... Oh, boy. I, I don't know. I, it, it, Goku and Frieza can definitely output more damage uh, more re you know regularly and stuff. But, like, I really value the defense, man. I really do. To me, that, that's such a big deal such a big factor to have like you know defense on that level and you know a 66 percent chance to dodge 
as something small. Now, it takes them a long time to get there because what do they get? They get a 6% chance to dodge every single time they attack. So, you know, you are going to need a ton of attacks in order to get that done. Here, I want them to get the Dokkan attack, so we're going to use an item real quick. And uh, again, here, this is that rotation again where, you know, we got Champa, we have the TUR, and then we have the LR all together. Now, they're missing one key, but it's not really going to be that big of a deal. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, again, I'm just telling y'all right now, this feels like maybe, I, I don't know, maybe not the best unit in the game, but they're like, bare minimum, they're a top four unit in the game. Uh, absolutely. Like, I, I don't... LR, Gogeta, and Vegito, like, they're overrated. It's just, uh, I hate to break it to y'all. Like, you know, this unit, and like, let's, let me not even get into their leader skill. The joint forces, 130% leader. I, I, I feel like we're good here. LR, Hale, and Khalifa, do not sleep on them. They are a top five unit, bare minimum. More than likely, they might be number three. I might like them more than Goku and Frieza. I'm going to have to do more testing, see them on Super Battle Road and stuff like that. Uh, they're up there, though. They, this is a crazy, crazy unit.